Okay, we're going to get started. EKG, or ECG, what it stands for, electrical cardiography, which basically means that we're going to graph an electrical event from the heart. Let's start with the PQRST, and where those names come from, I really have no idea. Who cares? Okay, we're going to be looking at the PR interval, which is 0.082. 0.20 seconds and the QRS duration which is 0.08 to 0.10 seconds and the QT interval 0.4 to 0.43 seconds the RR interval is 0.6 to 1 second now where am I getting all these values well if you look at these boxes here there's going to be smaller boxes and then a larger box each smaller box is 0.04 of a second so five of these boxes are in one large box which comes out to 0.2 seconds when you add all five boxes up then when you add 0.2 to five large boxes, then we have one second in time. So that is how we are able to calculate the time for all these different waves. Let's look at what this means uh, when it relates to cardiac electrical activity of the heart. If we cut the heart, we can look at the SA node. The SA node has its own pacemaker, which means that it creates its own electricity. That electricity goes through the top chambers of the heart, both the right and left atria, then it stimulates the AV node to send an electrical current down through the right and left ventricles. It's important to understand that the electrical activities of the heart do not always correlate with the mechanical activities of the heart. You can have what's called pulseless electrical activity, which is PEA. You can have an electrical event. The muscle is just not responding to it. Don't worry about that now. We'll get into that when we get into abnormal rhythms of the heart. I started this lecture by going over the time intervals of the electrical activity in the heart, and I wanna make more sense of that now. We're gonna start with the first degree heart block. There are actually three different types. SA node is sending off the signal, but the AV node is not responding to it in a timely fashion, which basically makes it so that the heart is not pumping very efficiently. 